Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this lesson. I'm going to show you how to create 3D mockup logo using Adobe Photoshop. So I downloaded this online and I've been able to use my own logo to create this 3D mockup. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this particular video tutorial. So stay tuned for this. I don't own copyright to this particular mockups. I downloaded them from this site, which I'm going to leave the link at the description of this video. So you can also download and use any logo at all and then create a mockup for this. Create a mockup just as you can see over here. You can use any logo. And I give credit to this site, designboats.com, for this amazing mockup. Okay, so you can download and then you can use them as well. So I'm going to link at the description of this video so you can download and use. So this is the other one I, I'm using as well. And I'm going to show you how to, you can create a 3D logo out of this. So when we come back to Photoshop, I've been able to create this using my own logo. So before we do that, we need to get the file as well. So this is the image format of this particular logo mockup. So I go back to my downloads and these are the files I've extracted them and I just want to open this. So you should be getting the file in a Photoshop format. I've saved it with my logo and I'm just going to open this file. If you download, it's going to be in a zip folder. So you need to unzip this and you open the Photoshop file. Okay, so when you open this, the Photoshop file, you should be getting the, the first layer on it is just like a cover on it. Just turn off the eyes symbol over there, then you can get your 3D logo. When you turn off the eye of the first layer, that is the cover, it will give you the entire logo. So this is where we can replace this with our, our own logo. So we can replace this with our own logo. So in order to do that, let me go for the image I want to use. So I'll go for my logo. So this is my logo over here. I'll just drag it to Photoshop and then I'll drop it here. Okay, so this is the logo I'm going to use. I want to use it to replace this logo over here and then create a 3D that is going to look like this. Okay, so I have this and then I have my logo now. So these are the two things we need in order to continue. So first we need to identify where this logo is placed within this particular mockup. Okay, so when you come to your layers, you have several layers over here. So when you come to your layers, we need to first identify where we can replace this. So you can see we have golden what logo. So that is where the logo is placed. So just this is a folder. So you just have to click on this small arrow to expand it. So it's going to open it for you. And you can see down here this option that says what place logo. So that is where we're going to place our logo. But how do we place our logo? So that's what we're going to do next. So double click. So we are going to double click on what? This particular logo where we have the smart object thumbnail. So double click on that thumbnail and it's going to open in a new tab. Okay. So this is the technique. It's going to open this in a new tab like this for you. So we're going to replace our logo over here. So let's go to this tab and then drag our logo to what we've opened. So we drag our logo here. Let's just stretch this to cover. And then we have maybe just close to the size of that logo. And then let's hit enter or just click on the check icon to confirm this. We don't need the Adidas logo. So you can just click on the eye symbol to turn it off. Okay. Once this is done, the next thing we need to do is to save this. We are not saving this as a file on it. So we're just going to update the content. So go to file and click on save. Okay. That's control S. It's just going to update the content. Okay. So just wait for this to save. And I'll go to our 3D logo and see what is going to happen. It's going to work like a magic. It's going to update the content and then create the 3D logo for us. Okay, so this has been done. So we'll go back to our 3D logo and this should be updated as well. Okay. So you can see once we move back to our logo, everything has been updated. Our 3D logo has been created by using this word, our personal logo. We've been able to replace it from here where we have the, we initially have the Adidas logo. We we'll replace it with our own logo, just save that and then it will be updated for you. And then you have your own logo. If you want to change the color and everything, you just have to follow the folder over here and then you can change those contents. Okay. So basically, this is how to create it. And the same price what I've done initially. If you come here as well, that's the same thing. And then 
we come here so this is another one and i'm going to show you how we can do this as well so i want to use the same logo that i have here my personal logo i want to use it and then change the top over here okay so i have a logo which is in the vertical format this i have a logo which is in a landscape so i'm going to use this i'll drag this back to photoshop okay so i want to use this logo to replace what we have over here to create my own 3d logo but before that remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification so now that i have this i need to also identify where to replace this okay i need to identify where to replace this so i'll come back to my layer style and then open this we have the logo text just open this click on the arrow to expand this and you can see directly it's telling us what logo so we know where to place that logo click to expand again and then we can see we have logo over here that's the first logo just double click on it that's the smart object thumbnail just double click on that and it's going to open it in a new what a new tab so you can see what we have over here the right tab so in the right tab we have over here it has been open for us so you can see what we have over there crimson that we have over it has been open for us in the new tab so you can see that over here so this is where we can replace our logo we can place our logo here to replace this so this is my logo i want to use and i want this logo to replace my personal logo to replace this so i'll just go to this that's the text that i open and then i can just drag my logo to that but before that i have several tabs which is going to distract me so i just have to close this for now so that i can easily drag this on top of that so i'll just drag this towards that and then place it on top of this i can resize it in order to fit on top of this so that i can get a better size of this particular logo and i click on the check icon or hit enter but we don't want the crimson to show again so we can click on the eye symbol to turn it off and then now we have only our logo on top of this so when we save this it's going to update the content over here and then change this one to add tech so we we'll go back to our logo and then what we need to do is to go to file and then click on save so when this is done saving we'll go back to our logo and then it will be able to create that 3d logo for us i'm going to leave the link at the description of this particular video so you can follow along and download and also try this and then you can change your logo into a 3d format okay so i think this is done saving let's go back to our logo now it should be updated accordingly so you can see we've been able to update the content and change this three logo with our personal logo that's how you take consider it done so we've been able to change the content for that and remember to like subscribe because i'm going to share a lot of tips and tricks right here on this channel so basically this is how to create a 3d logo mockup using photoshop thank you so much like come away again like subscribe and share bye bye